Hey Church, welcome to our daily devotion insight. I want to conclude the last devotion on practicing gratitude. All right, before we continue on uh, our devotion on choices. That is devotion number five on gratitude. The blessings of gratitude. The blessings of gratitude. Do you know that when you practice gratitude, it blesses your life? Look at Philippians chapter 4, verses 8 to 9 says, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it to practice. Hallelujah. And the peace of God will be will be with you. You say that when you look at good things and begin to thank God for good things and rejoice in good things, honorable things, peaceful things, you know what? The Bible said peace of God will be with you. If you practice gratitude every day, one more time, if you and I practice gratitude every day, what do you think the result will be? The Bible promises that seeing the good in daily life leads to one thing. What is that? The Bible says in verse eight, uh, verse nine, peace leads to peace. You know why we always do not have peace in our mind, in our heart, in our spirit? You know why we are always worried and angry and get upset? It's because we always look at the bad things that is happening in the world around us and not to see the good things that is around us. That's the reason why we allow the devil to allow the bad things in our life to steal us of the peace and the joy of the Spirit of God. When you and I don't have the peace of God, there is no joy. That's why we get upset, we get angry, we get disturbed all the time. You know, medical studies confirm the link between gratitude and mental health. When test subjects wrote down three things, that is, Keep a, keep a gratitude journal or write letters of gratitude to other people all demonstrated improvement in, le in levels of anxiety and depression and life satisfaction. That means, medically speaking, if we begin to look at good things, begin to look at the bright side rather than negative side, begin to look at uh, write down, do a journal on all the things that we can thank God and we can thank, be grateful for in life. It actually improves the health and mental health of people, you know, and it also at the same time uh, improve levels of anxiety, levels of depression and life satisfaction. So learn to be grateful. The Bible and the scientific material both attest to the effectiveness of simple gratitude practices in life. You know, if you want to deepen your level of peace, your level of joy, your and your relationship with God, gratitude is a great place to start. One more time, gratitude is a great place to start. You know what? If you and I would look at all the good things that's mentioned in Philippians 4 verse 8 and learn to be grateful and learn to be thankful for things that's happened around us, you know what? The peace of God will generate from within your spirit and joy will flow out of your life. And then when joy flow out, hope will govern you and I and our walk and our daily journey with God. Amen? So therefore, in this discipline of gratitude, learn and remember and memorize Philippians chapter 4, verse 8 and verse 9. And make it a motto of your life throughout 2021. Amen? God bless you. Let's pray. Father, we pray that you will help us to learn to focus on the right thing. Help us to learn to be grateful and be thankful all the time in our life. Uh, we know the benefit of gratitude and gratefulness and thankfulness is that peace will be the result. Joy will be the result of peace. 
I pray God that you will protect us and give us a good day in time of pandemic and may the name of Jesus Christ be glorified. Bless every one of us with a great day and a good day and teach us to learn to practice gratitude of in life every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Practice gratitude and you have a great day. Amen.